All right, this is a question that I actually get a lot, and I think students make it more difficult than what it is. It's asking you to find the critical points. And remember, critical points are where you have max and mins. Now, one thing you could do very quickly, and you don't have to, but this is something you could do, you could go to a website like this Desmos, and you could actually enter in, notice a table here, I could enter in these actual points, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 3, 3, negative 5, 4, negative 3, 5, 1, oops, not 11, 5, 1, 5, 1, where am I, 6, 4, 7, 2, 7, 2, 8, negative 1, 9, 2, and 10, 5. And what that does is it plots the points and I can kind of see what's going on here, right? So I can see definitely that is the minimum value, but remember it's a critical point. So it needs to be where it's going from decreasing to increasing because you might say that's the max, but this is actually at a critical point. So looking here, I see it shows at three and eight, there are mins. So there is my, my three, and notice here it's also turning. And that's, that's kind of the big key, let me turn that one off, and that one off, is that it's a turning. If you connected these dots, you would see that that's concave up, concave up. Where it's concave down now is at this six, four. So that's the max. But I don't have to graph this. I could just look at this and see the y values where it's going from negative and it turns. So it goes from negative five to negative three, that's a turn. So you're looking for turning points. Um, also where it goes from four, which is it's up high and then it goes down. So kind of visualize that up and then down and then the max. That typically doesn't give students a lot of problems. It's this part here. Um, the big key here is that they changed, instead of these being y values, they're y prime. They're, de they're derivatives. So remember, where a derivative is positive, it's increasing, and where it's negative, it's decreasing. So increasing, going up, decreasing. Notice they want you to put in between. So from 0 to 1 would be 0 0.5. Um, so decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. It goes from decreasing to increasing, so down to up. That's why that's a min. Increasing, increasing, and then it turns again. So from between 7 and 8, and then it's decreasing. Notice I'm saying decreasing when it's negative, and then it turns to increasing positive. So the big key is critical point of the value of the function is where it's turning, Okay, so that's why we're not using 10. You might say this 5 value is a max, but it didn't turn. It just went from 2 to 5, and then it didn't turn to come back down. And then the derivatives are where the sign is changing.